I started back, uh, wow, in high school. I had a great art teacher there, and uh, they let us just paint on the walls. And um, I got involved in, in doing the kinds of drawings that I was doing at the time. Uh, I was able to put them up on the wall, and so it, it, even at an early age, I was involved in, in larger imagery. Uh, and I think I went from there to doing my first commissioned piece at the local community college in Panama City, Florida, Gulf Coast Community College, and uh, that commissioned for $250 to paint the story of uh, 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 the English Lit Hall and to put Walt Whitman and some other figures in that. And so I was kind of stuck then, and it became part of something I did most often, which was to travel and work on walls and inside buildings, um, gym floors, stadiums. Usually when I'm contacted as an artist, a committee's already agreed upon the subject and uh, what they provide the artist with is a packet of information. It'll include the story's intent, photographs, and other reference material. From that point, I'll usually take it back and start to do my own research, try to find the story, some way to make a visual of that uh, to be effective in the space the mural's gonna live in. So <clears throat> I'll go and I'll start to stage shots, uh, sometimes from photographs that we have, other photographs that uh, are pertinent for clothing and dress of the period. Uh, we had some wonderful photographs for the mural behind me, the steamboat mural. We had actual photographs of the steamboat. In this case, we wanted to tell the story about the local children's excitement and community people's excitement about the steamboat's arrival and what they might see. My favorite would have to be the AME Church mural. Uh, it tells the story of the locals building the first African-American church in this area, Methodist Church. And the story was very interesting in that the children participated along with the local masons and community members collecting bricks as they went so that they could build this building. And the church is not very far from where we're sitting now. And it was my favorite because in the process of being on location, so many of the locals came out, uh, young and old, to tell their stories about how they grew up in the church or how the church affected them back in the day. And even today, how they still involved in that church. Mural also tells a wonderful story about the black business area in the time. And so there were lots of stories uh, from people who came and told about the old photographer shop and the old uh, uh, gas stations and grocery stores. Some of those businesses are still with us, uh, but there were wonderful stories from that. And, and I think that's what makes painting public art the best, when people come to you and start telling their stories about the pictures that you're working with.